Hey everyone, Justin Crumley here with the Cujo Productions channel. Welcome to the second day of Creepypasta Thon 2017. Uh, real quick, before I get into the plot of today's story, uh, I just want to say that if uh, if I sound any weird right now, uh, I don't have my microphone on me for this video, so the audio might sound a little different. Uh, just kind of bear with me. Uh, I do apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, next video will feature the microphone and better audio, so uh, quickly just wanted to jump on and say that. Uh, other than that, enjoy the video. Never drive at night in the desert. This one starts off with the main character taking his girlfriend, named Katie, to Arizona to meet with some friends of hers for her birthday. They're a couple of college students, so some much-needed time off is a welcome thing, and uh, trust me on that, I would know. I was a college student at one time, and I'm going to be a college student again, so I can relate. They stop at an abandoned gas station to fill up the tank, and the main character hears a crying child inside. So he goes in, goes into the basement to seek out what's crying, and he finds some small unusual looking creature that scares the shit out of him and causes him to run out of the gas station. They get back on the road again and when the main character details his experience to the gas station, uh, in the gas station, to Katie, excuse me, uh, Katie pulls over and tells him about what happened while he was in the gas station itself. She says that she saw a man and a little girl whom she assumed was the man's daughter the man had black, blank eyes and a hanging jaw. The little girl had a huge smile on her face as she stared at Katie. Katie describes the little girl as dark, not like a person of color, uh, but like a shadow. So, not human at all. Originally, Katie just brushes it off as if it's an illusion and looks away. When she looked back, the two are gone, and then the main character comes running out not long after. It's kind of creative how it's linked like that. Uh, moving on, though, the two pull over and start to kiss and get a little intimate, probably, I would assume so, when Katie starts screaming that she sees the little girl that she saw before. Without any hesitation, they speed off at the horrifying sight of the creature and notice that there's no clouds or even any stars in the sky, and eventually pass the same gas station from before. Which is unnerving, because the gas station from before was in the opposite direction that they're going. So it's like they're in a time loop, or they just, or deja vu, only a lot scarier. Katie is way too shaken up to drive, so they pull over and switch seats. As the main character gets out he, to get into the driver's side, he vomits from the horrendous stench that's all over the place and notices a very pale creature sprinting toward them. As the story progresses, they constantly pass up the same gas station, with the only changings being that there are two figures in the doorway that appear to be getting closer each time they pass up the gas station. The main character turns on the radio and finds that only one station works, and the station is nothing but random names being called. One of the names being Katie. They arrive at Katie's friend's house, who aren't home, and she starts covering the windows with old newspapers and masking tape, basically trying to cut themselves off from what's out there. Uh, they turn on the TV and see a very pale face, empty eyes, and a very huge smile on it appears, along with the sound of weeping which they can't tell if it's coming from the TV or from something or somewhere inside the house. A few days go by, Katie's turning into something inhuman looking and basically losing her mind, while the main character experiences all kinds of different weird things going on in the house. Essentially, he's also losing his mind. In the end, the main character just reflects on how he wishes he never got out of the car. This creepypasta is kind of a mixed bag. There's definitely some disturbing imagery being put into your head, and it does have a thrill ride feel to it. 
kind of like the movie Duel. Uh, obviously, not exactly like the movie Duel, but whatever, you get the point. Uh, however, I do find it a bit repetitive, and that can be a, a little annoying. Uh, it's not a bad creepypasta, and I don't think it's even terrible. It's just okay. Uh, as I said, it's a mixed bag. I don't think it's the best one I've ever heard. It's certainly not the worst. There are definitely some worse ones out there. If you like a, uh, a thrill ride sort of feel, this story is definitely for you. Uh, not much else I can say. Check it out if you want.